Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I just want to give an update on the toolbox script. So if you come in here, I've gone into the main folder and, and just did a list directory here. And you'll see that the number of files that it takes to actually get this to work has been reduced dramatically, right? So instead of having like 50.sh files, now we're down to like 10 or 11. But essentially everything runs through this main.sh now. So any anything that needs to be installed or removed, it just requires this one main.sh. And to launch it now you use Python 3 and then main.py. But other than that, it's still the same. Um, under install and remove, they are alphabetically sorted now. And so the way this works now is there's a CSV file and I'll show you that. So if you come in here and you don't see the application that you want to get installed, you can go to that CSV file and edit that and add the application that you want to add to the list. So, but uh, now the application shows if it's a flat pack or not. And I've gone in and, and broken up Steam and Proton up QT. The administration tab, no changes have been done there. So let's say you open this up and you're like, oh, this is great and all, but I don't see the application that I wanted. So that's when we'll come into this apps underscore config.csv file. And you'll want to follow the same format, right? You've got your category, your app name, and then the flat pack location, if it's a flat pack. If not, leave it blank. So here's the NeoFetch as an example. We want it under the, under the utilities category. So let's bring this back up. So here's utilities and then there's NeoFetch. Okay. And then we leave that third section where it says flat pack location. We leave that blank. So we'll just come in here and do an example here. So let's say we wanted to add a browser. Just pretend like Chrome's not there. So we want browser and here's something else that's important to mention. If it's a flat pack, the application name doesn't matter. It's not case sensitive. You can put whatever there, but if it's not a flat pack, if it's going to use Nala to install, then you need to make sure that you use the, you know, the correct. So NeoFetch, don't use a capital N, make sure it's just NeoFetch all lowercase. But let's go and, and um, let's go to flat hub real quick. And I'll show you. Let's say Chrome wasn't in the list and we wanted to add it. We just search for Chrome. And then next to this install button, the down arrow, we care about this last piece here, com dot blah, blah, blah. Sometimes it's org or dot or net dot. So we'll just copy that, throw it in the bottom here. So browser, we'll say Chrome, and then we'll throw in that com dot Google dot Chrome that we just copied from FlatHub. And no spaces, you just put a comma and start typing the next thing. And you want to use this format here, category, app name, flat pack location. Again, if it wasn't a flat pack, so let's say like NeoFetch, we do utilities, comma, NeoFetch, all lowercase. So essentially what you would type if you were gonna type this out, like sudo, nala, install, NeoFetch, that's what, how that has to look. And since it's not a flat pack, we just leave that alone. So I file save and then let's close this and see if it added it. Go back into it. And you can see it's got NeoFetch and then browser. Okay. I didn't put browsers to make it list up here. So essentially you can come in here and create your own categories as well. If you wanted to, as we just saw in that example. Um, let's see, I don't think there's any other changes. Yeah. I just wanted to give that quick update. And that's going to do it for today's video. Here are some more videos that you may find helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.